Welcome to the Force Tutorials Maya Masterclass. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at how to extrude a mesh along a path or a curve or how to use the brush tool. So let's start the lesson. So first we're gonna create a path or a curve and to create that we need to go to our curve shelves and I'm gonna select my EP tool and if I double click on this you can see I'm using the 3 bezier tool to create my path. So let's go to our top view and I'm gonna draw a basic path and let's go back to our perspective view and edit it further from there. Let's go into the component mode and let's bring these up a little bit and let's bring this one up too and let's bring this one down. Now that we have our curve let's create a mesh so let's go to our side view and let's go to our poly modeling shelf and let's create a plane. I'm gonna duplicate this plane a couple of times. So first I'm gonna snap these. So now let's combine all of these by going through our marquee menu and select combine from here. And then I'm gonna go into the vertex mode. And similarly through our marquee menu I'm gonna merge our vertices. So now we have a singular object. Now in order to extrude this object along this curve we need to align our object. So I'm gonna pick this object from the center in my perspective mode while holding the C key. Now it has snapped our object to the curve as you can see. Now in order to extrude our curve along this path first we need to select the faces of our object and then select the curve. Now remember it is really important that you just don't select the object you need to select the faces that you wanna extrude and after that you need to select the curve that you want to extrude the path along to. Now let's go to our edit mesh menu and click on the extrude command. Now as you can see it has given us this block right here but there is no curve. The reason for that is we haven't given it any subdivisions. So there is a box that has popped up right next to it. We can increase the divisions from here. And as you can see when we start giving the mesh more resolution it starts following the path more and more accurately. And right now the mesh is black. The reason for that is the mesh we selected should have been facing toward the path but it was facing away from the path. Now we can fix that by just reversing the faces from your mesh display menu and we are going to do that in a little bit. Let's increase the subdivisions a little more. You can also do a couple of things from here. You can offset the path. You can increase the local translate. You can increase the thickness or you can turn on or off key faces together. I'm going to keep these settings to default and I'm going to accept the result. Now as you can see we have a mesh that has exactly followed the path that we gave it. And in order to fix the normals of this mesh you just need to go to your mesh display and select the reverse command from here. That will reverse the faces and now you have a normal mesh. Now let's talk about the bridge tool. So let's delete a few faces. Now when you have a hole in your mesh and you wanna fix that, you can do that with your bridge tool. And you can access your bridge tool from your edit mesh menu. You can find it right down here. The bridge tool only works with the edge mode. So in order for the bridge tool to work, you need to select the edges that you wanna bridge and then go to your edit mesh menu and select the bridge tool. This will bridge the gap between those edges and give you a cap. Now we can do this to all these other edges as well. I'm gonna press the G key on my keyboard to repeat the command. And now you can see how easily we have bridged all of these edges and fixed the holes. So that's a really handy way if you have a hole in your mesh or if you wanna close off an empty end, the bridge tool is really handy. So that's it for this video. I hope now you know how to extrude along a path and how to use the bridge tool. As always, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, drop a comment. And if you want to support me directly, the link to my Patreon and my merch store is in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next video.